I really need to get myself an intro screen. I'll do that sometime. Anyway, we are back. Uh, first stream since we got our wings. Uh, so we're we, we pretty much done all the challenging stuff. At this point, uh, hardcore death is most likely going to be from from stupidity, from making a mistake. So we're going to start on the bad decision train by playing in a very exhausted state. Hi, everybody. Um, on the left, on the goals, you can see I have uh, I have done some changes to it. I have added a few things. Um, with wings currently in our inventory, with all the progression stuff pretty much done. We are now at um we're we're at the stage where we just want to start building things for fun and building things to get more resources to build more things for fun or build more things for more resources in that cyclical arc. All the farms. This is the farm apocalypse. So, um, and then if you pro if you saw the title, now we can finally play the game. Th this is this is the part of the game that I really enjoy: is making machines, making farms, making uh, different uh mechanisms this is the part i like the the exploration part the uh you know trying to see what the world has to offer that part isn't all that exciting for me but um it is necessary and we'll still be doing a bit of that every now and then but um yeah we get to start doing the part that I really like. So, goals. Uh, we still technically have our long-term goals to go. Uh, defeat all bosses. We have a wither to go. Uh, and I guess the, uh, the warden. I don't really know if I can count them as a boss, but... Technically, yeah, I guess we should take out the warden, even if it doesn't do anything. Um, we still got to get full netherite gear, which means we have to explore the nether to find those templates. Um, and we need to get netherite. Um, and we need more blocks. We need more blocks than we're ever going to use. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, there has been a little bit of off screening. One thing you might notice is that this mess is cleaned up. Um, and I have just kind of moved it down here. Um, a little bit more organized, not too much, but, uh, like we've got our wood stuff here. We've got uh just like blocks that you get from terraforming mining and moving earth a redstone box we got potions and potions uh we got our maps box uh this one's kind of an overflow but amethyst and ice and more uh ocean monument stuff uh, stuff for horses, stuff from the nether, stuff from the ocean monument, more stuff from the ocean monument, some more sea-related things in the end. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot in the end, but we're going to today. Uh, then these are going to be uh, colors, so we've got 
dyes and um, concrete and glass. Cooked foods, grown goods, overflow from grown goods, and mob drops, and then just miscellaneous treasure stuff. So, that's there. Um, that's one thing that's been done off screen. There's two other things that were done off screen. Uh, one is I went to go get some nether skull, uh, wither skulls. And it took me maybe five hours, even with a looting sword. It was not good. Um, all right, so I'm a mobs tap. We killed 157, which with the looting three sword, you're only, it's supposed to be like one every 18 gets you a skull. So on average, around 60 wither skeletons should be enough to, it is like the average to get three skulls. And even if you factor in the one I got earlier, it should be 80. 137, kind of kind of not great. So I'm thinking we're going to make a wither skeleton farm as well. I found a neat design we might work on today. Uh, but first, we're going to use the ones that we got. Um, and that, we have a start. Oh, another thing. We lost the maps. I don't know what the hell happened to them. But just, they're gone. Um, and I don't think I misplaced them. So, actually, no, I'm going to... I was thinking of moving those inside. I'm just going to move them inside right now. Because I do not want to lose the other maps. That is extremely unfortunate. Luckily, um, they were maps that were not filled out yet. So... Uh, they are not the, uh, you, you know, they're not the worst ones to lose. These these two would have been the worst ones to lose, for sure. Um, but yeah. Oh, you know what? I wonder if they're at the, uh, might be at the stronghold. We'll, uh, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, so first thing I want to do, uh, I have a wither rose farm set up that kind of can't believe how easy it is to make or use. So I built it, um, and it. I kind of just like didn't think it was going to work. And I tested it out on uh, on a test version of this world, and it actually works. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to just go show us what that is. Um, and then... Oh, hi. Now I know who is pushing the portal guards around. Jerks. Um, yeah, so it's... There's a wither rose farm that I've set up, because I'm going to need wither roses for some of these farms. And... I figured if I'm going to use the wither skulls... This might be a good way to do it. And eventually I'm going to have to kill um, kill the wither in the farm. Because with this design, he doesn't last forever. So we'll just go until we can't tolerate farming anymore. Oh, 
Oh, that's the that's the spider farm. I need to label these things. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll go until we just can't anymore, and then we'll kill them, and we'll have our first Nether Star, which means we can get a beacon. Uh, and we definitely have enough iron at this point for a beacon, but we might be able to make it out of emeralds. Uh, I think we've probably traded enough for that. No, there are no chests here, though. What is this doing? How did... Huh. Weird. Um... So, we'll go and, uh, we'll go show off this farm, and then the second farm that I have made is also in the end. Uh, we have the start of a shulker farm, and it needs two things to be finished. One, with the roses, hence this farm. And two, a shulker to be pushed into it, uh, which I will do that. Uh, so here's here's how this farm works. This is the end portal, and we have a wither basically ready to go. Just got to pop the last head on him, and he's not going to be able to move out of here. There's a little entrance there. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeatedly make snow golems and throw them at the wither. And he's going to kill them, and I'm going to collect uh, all the... After a stack of golems, so 64 golems, um... We are just going to go in, collect some snow, collect all the wither roses, and reuse all of the heads. Hang on. Did I put them in here? Yeah, I did. Okay. We're going to reuse uh, these carved pumpkins for the heads and just keep cycling them over and over again. And uh, that's going to be that. That's pretty pretty straightforward for that one. Um, I also got some stuff for punching a hole in the roof of the... the, uh, the nether. So we'll do that a little bit later, too. Okay, uh, so how this works. Here's the carved pumpkin. It's going to be placed on the head automatically. And then this is going to shear the head, the pumpkin head back off before the golem gets stuffed in. And then just sheer number of golems are going to slowly get pushed in there. Weather's going to keep killing them. And then I'll go collect their, uh, their snow bodies and repeat the process over again. Yeah. So, the way that this person had... This is Ian Nexo 4, is the maker of the farm. And the way that they have designed this, uh, you want to empty out your inventory. So we're going to do that. And... Did he have me take off the armor too? I think not. I don't think there's any reason to do that. But I'm going to put... Uh, once this is running, I'm going to put a wither rose in each of these four slots, and then 
when I go to collect snow, I'm going to collect exactly enough snow to make two full stacks of uh, snow blocks. And then I can go in, I'll pick up all the roses, it'll fill these, sl these four, and I'll remake the snow and I'll remake the golems. At least that's how it should work. Um, anyway, I need these. And I think, I think his only thing was with my armor is that I need to have something on the head so that doesn't put the, the, uh, jack-o'-lantern on my head. The card pumpkin on my head. But beyond that, I think the rest of the armor is okay. So we're going to turn this on and do this. Uh, I, I forgot to start the wither. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, no. This is already a disaster. I did mention I was very tired and not focusing, right? Uh, there is a skull. So, um, yeah, golems, could you, uh, could you back up a little bit? Please? Like, can I convince you to go this way? I'll be very appreciative. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> yeah, go that way. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll just, um, scooch, please. You know what I. Oh, you know what? Water hurts them, doesn't it? I was going to push them with water, but I think water actually hurts them. Come on. Let me in. Let me in, bud. There we go. Just, just go over there. And... No, no, don't come this way. Don't come this way. Oh, you put my butt. We're off to a wonderful start. <laughs> you know what? I don't really need every single one of you. I'm sorry that I have to do this, but you were all born to die anyway. Okay. And there, like it never happened. Okay. So just in case this goes wrong, we're doing that. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, you're going to stay in there, right? I think he's staying in there. Yep. Okay. So we'll put this away. And here we go.
Okay, then we put the heads back in. We do a round in there. We turn down the audio because that is really loud. I'm going to do this. I am going to guess that's probably not loud enough for the stream, but you know, that's that's okay. It's still very loud. Okay, now we got enough roses to do that and we can repeat the process. So, this is an incredibly simple farm to set up. This took me like five minutes. Um, and it really works well. I have not really messed with Wither Roses all that much. So now that I know it's this easy, I'm probably going to use them a lot more. But um, the wither is kind of stuck in that end portal. His head's stuck in the bedrock, and he can't move. Every time this is done, I just put those back. Run around in here. He literally cannot hit me. And then I have exactly enough... Or two more stacks and I just do it again yeah so this is it um, so the way that this works as I understand the wither is stuck with his head in the base of the end portal which is bedrock he can't break it um, and he slowly takes suffocation damage and eventually he will die. But every time that he kills something, he gets a little health back. So as long as we keep feeding him these golems, he'll live forever. But eventually, you know, I'm not going to sit here forever doing this. So, uh, you know, eventually we're going to say enough is enough. Um, and the the snow golems are actually taller than the player so that's why we can walk in there and not get hurt but the golems do get hurt and then this bit this is just a an observer be setting itself off over and over again with shears and uh, the carved pumpkins. And that is literally it. Everything else here is just for like cosmetics or lining myself up in the spot here. That's the entire farm. That's it. Okay, so you can see his health is dropping a little bit. Because he hasn't gotten kills in a, in a bit. Once we start shoving golems in there, yeah, now he's healing himself up again. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So while we're doing this, I'm going to try and get like a chest or a, a barrel's worth of these roses. So while we're doing that, uh, I am going to... That's weird. We didn't get all the uh, heads back that time. Or there's some still in there. There's some still in there. Okay. Um, so... 
we can talk a little bit while we do this. Uh, like I said earlier, we're we're at the end game now. So let's talk about what we're going to do from here. Um, my main focus is going to be making blocks or making machines to get us the items in mass to the point where we can consider it basically infinite. Um, And so I've expanded our, our short-term goals a bit. Rocket production is going to be pretty high on the list because flying around is important. Gunpowder is useful. Um, so that one's pretty high on the list of priorities. That said, it's not the next thing. We've got enough to get us through for a bit. Um, but it is going to be one that we want to take care of sooner rather than later. Bilkers is very high on the list, which is, uh, actually why that farm's built up. That is over, uh over near those end cities that we found in the last stream. And that is built up for everything except the Wither Roses. So that's what this farm is for. Uh, that one, that one I had no idea what I was doing. I was just following a tutorial uh, block for block. And even that was a struggle given um, I don't want to speak ill of the tutorial maker, but the order of actions in it and the way that they were described was difficult. <laughs> it was more difficult than it needed to be. So, um, that, I'm confident if I try to do that on stream, it would have been maybe three or four hours of me just going, what the heck are you doing? Or cursing. And, uh, I probably would not have gotten a complete product in the end because I had to backtrack and figure things out, figure out what they meant. Uh... And I definitely would have ended up making a mistake or several. And even doing it off stream, I don't know if the thing works. Uh, I'm not familiar with the mechanic that it uses. And so there's a, there's a very good chance that we're going to go over there and we're going to go through the struggle of getting a shulker into this farm. And it's, it's going to just not work. That very well could be what happens. So we'll, we'll find out. We will find out once we get over there. Um, but the farm needs wither roses, so here we are getting wither roses. And I... I will get a link to the person that showcased the mechanics of the farm that showed how it works. I'm sure you can find the tutorial if you want to make it yourself, uh, but I don't know. I'm going to hope that the one that you find is better than the one I found. Um, again, not to, to badmouth the the tutorial creator. I, I did eventually get there, and it was easier than, you know, trying to reverse engineer from the, the video of 
how the thing works. Um, but... It is, um... It, it, it gave me some struggle. And, uh, some of it, you know, for all I know, this was, like, an actual, an actual child made it, so I can't, like, I can't tell them how, how did you not know to, you know, describe things in this way, or that people were going to get lost when you did this, like, I don't, I don't know what their situation is, so I'm not going to... Um, I, I'm not going to come down on them. I, I just struggle with it. It could just be me. So hopefully it's, it's just me because then, <laughs> then it's, uh, it's my problem and not theirs. But, uh, yeah, if it works, I'll... Talk about that des that uh, designer a little bit as well, but I have no idea if it works. I guess the uh, the idea behind the design is that skulkers have a, a weird interaction with uh, scaffolding, in that they'll they'll try and teleport to it, but they can't actually sit on it properly and will immediately teleport again. And then it, rather than doing the usual thing of having a shulker hit itself with its own bullets, this one has like a battery of several shulkers that are going to continually hit it over and over again. Um, and if it works, I'll probably do some more tweaking. Um, I would prefer to not need an invisibility potion to go retrieve the, uh, the shulker shells or turn it on and off. Uh, so I'll probably put like a, a line of redstone up to it and a line of, I don't know, I might do like a line of hoppers or I might do something more like, uh, a dropper into a collection thing lower to the ground. We'll see. But uh, that one is a little more involved than this, this thing is. This thing so far has been beautiful. Incredibly simple. I'm already at a point where I'm just repeating the process and not thinking about it. It just worked. It's a good design. I like this. Uh, obviously, if there's a way I can find to automate something like this to where there's no player interaction, that'd be great. But um, this does really well. Okay, so other farms. Um... Oh, the, the short-term goal. So rocket production is high. Uh, I still need to find more templates, more sniffers. Shilka farm, wither farm. Um, we just talked about, or wither rose farm. Um, I think a wither skull farm is going to be pretty high on the list too. We'll take a look at things that we can do for that. Because I don't want to do another five hours of uh, roaming around to gather up uh, more skulls in the future. Whether I need more wither roses or I want to do multiple beacons. Um, five hours was a long time for that. So... We'll probably look at, and, and that is definitely not in the realm of uh, a supply similar to what you can get in creative mode. 
that's not going to cut it. So we'll look at making a farm for that. Um, which farm? I think that one might be done rather than a typical gunpowder farm. Uh, because witches get you gunpowder too. The thing with a witch farm, though, is that that's usually a bigger scale project, and I tend to involve TNT with that. So I think what it's going to boil down to is, is there enough TNT to get the witch farm made? I forgot to put the heads away. Um, if there's enough TNT to do what I want for that, there's probably going to be a, a perimeter in the swamp. Um, then I'll probably just do a witch farm, and I won't worry about doing like a creeper farm. I'll have plenty of gunpowder from the witch farm. It might be a high Y design like we did with the ocean monument because those work pretty well. There's not a whole lot of uh, perimeter making that you have to do. But I'll probably still involve the uh, flying TNT machines for that because that's a fun that's a fun project to do. Um, and I mean, who wants to keep a swamp around? Not many people want to do that. So we'll probably make a witch farm, or you could try the raid farm. It's more witch drop. Oh, it does do witch drops too. That's true. Um, so I might do that. A uh, raid farm is one I would like to do. Uh, yeah, pillager farm. That's, you know, a raid farm. So that is another option we could explore of doing a, a raid farm. Will that get me the level of gunpowder I want? Probably. Kind of like having an area of earth that I just blow up to an unreasonable degree. So even if it's not necessary or we decide to go the raid route and uh, trying to swamp with bombs, <laughs> um, even if it ends up being enough, I'll probably still do a witch farm because they're fun. Also, uh, witch farms are great for another major component of a lot of the farms I'm going to need, and that's redstone. Uh, they drop redstone dust, too. And that is probably going to be the redstone method that I want to go with. Because, um, you know, I I've got the cleric that sells me redstone. That's great. Um, that's a lot of little fiddling to get a lot of redstone. It's good for small projects, but it's not going to be enough for, like, major, major projects. Like this thing, this is one, two, three, four, five, six redstone total dust. That's nothing. I want to make uh, something like, I don't know, a, a clock in the world, like a, a genuine digital clock. That's going to take a bit more. Uh, or, you know, when, I, when I've got my shulkers and I want to make a redstone box that's just redstone components... That's going to be a couple of stacks of blocks, which is a lot more than I'm going to get from the cleric. So we'll probably do a witch farm anyway. That said, yeah, a raid farm would probably get me the gunpowder I need. So I might... I don't think raid farms generally use a lot of redstone either. So that might take priority over the witch farm. Still thinking on that. We're going to play... The, the order in which we do these is going to be play by ear the whole time. 
based on whatever resources we have and whatever I feel like doing that day. Um, once we're in the end game here, where we're just making farms and making fun buildings, um, there's two ways that these world end. Either I die or my enthusiasm for the world dies and then I just stop playing. And once, once all the threat's gone, once we're in that mode where there's not really any major threats, it can, you can lose interest pretty quick. So making machines, making things pretty, that's, that's what we have left now. I mean, I'm not immortal, but uh, I'm a lot safer than I ever have been. Roaming around in in the the end, I can just fly. I don't have to worry about falling in a hole. I'll just rock it out. Um, roaming the Nether. You know, I've got fire resistance. Not much can hurt me. The the piglin brutes are still pretty dangerous because they they can kind of come at you come at you from nowhere and usually in an enclosed space. And those axes are no joke. Um, so that can be a real danger. And I'm going to need to explore those bastions if I want to get a template for netherite. So that could still happen. That might become my new uh, Achilles heel of hardcore survival. We'll see. Achilles heel isn't the right term. The, the, the thing that ends my life most frequently. I guess the th the thing that my weakness. I guess it kind of works. A little bit of a stretch. Uh, let's see. Other farms that I want to do. I want to do bees because we need honey. I got some bees uh, stored up, so we can start that. That one's pretty easy. But I don't want to drain the redstone that I have too soon, so it's probably going to be a later one. Uh, we need to do a slime farm. And I'll probably... I might actually do two slime farms. There's the one in the swamp, which is all block, no redstone. Uh, it does require a lot of mushrooms, but we can we can farm up those. That's not a big problem. Uh, and then there is the single single chunk slime farm uh, that you can do outside of a swamp. And there is a chunk nearby that I think might be a slime farm near home base that I could do that with. And if if I'm right, if it is a slime chunk and it's close enough, then it can work while anytime I'm at home, anytime in the home base. Uh, whereas the slime farm in the swamp is going to have to be a remote AFK spot. And if I can get passive slime, all the better. Granted, like the the swamp farm is a bit like the ocean monument where I AFK one night at it and I'm gonna have more than I'm ever gonna need. Uh that's very likely what's going to happen. But I don't know, maybe I wanna make a slime bouncy castle later. That could be a thing. Um so <laughs> what if we made like a slime bouncy castle, but it's like an actual size of a castle. We go we go and make like uh 
Dracula is cast. We find a nice uh, plateau on top of a mountain, and we're like, no, this is where we're going to make a castle. And we make an actual full-size castle out of slime. And that might be fun. I mean, be a fun, dumb thing to do. Um, but if I decide to do something like that, I'll burn through all the slime I've got. Um, but if I've got, if I've got a passive constant supply of slime or, you know, I can just refill at home, that would be a preferable solution. But, um, you know, bo both have their merits, and chances are I'm going to end up building both. They, they both actually take about the same amount of time, assuming that you have access to a beacon, which by the time we're done with uh, this farming, we will. Uh, by the way, those uh, watching... I know I turned the volume down to like 3%, but this still, I know, is probably kind of loud. If this is too loud or too quiet or anything, let me know. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll probably do both slime farms. Then we'll have slime and honey. I will still need to make... Uh, or... I guess, breed up and trade up villagers for the terracotta, which will be another redstone component. Uh, terracotta is one of the few blocks that you can push a slime block past and the slime block won't stick to it and the machine won't get stuck on it. They just don't interact with each other. You can barely hear the, the wither. Okay. Honestly, probably the good the good thing cuz it's still it's it's a tedious annoying sound. <laughs> um But yeah, we'll, we'll need to trade those guys up as well as the archers for the arrows. We'll do that. Um gold farm. We're going to need a gold farm, especially if we want to use a lot of powered rails. And I didn't list it, but after Gold Farm, we're going to have a farm for Piglin Trades. Uh, that can be fully automated, and then that can take overflow gold from the Gold Farm. And that becomes things like quartz and gravel, and uh, I think that can give you the enchanted book for uh, soul speed well as a couple of other things um and the gravel is one half of the renewables for concrete concrete's pretty cool i don't think sand is renewable currently i know there used to be ways to duplicate it but i don't think you can do that but I'll look into it. it there's, it's a, it's a new update, one dot twenty, so that might still be an option. Uh, and if that becomes the case, then we can make concrete. Uh, we're gonna want to do a tree farm, a concrete farm, a uh, cobblestone farm, something other than the, the kind of joke starter one that we have right now um pillager farm we talked about infinite emeralds infinite uh tomes of undying tomes of undying mean that we'll be able to mess around with things like uh let's make a tnt cannon to launch ourselves <laughs> in uh in survival in hardcore survival <laughs> Where if it screws up, you blow up and you die. <laughs> That's a thing we can do. Um, speaking of this uh, punch through the hole in the the roof of another thing, 
involves uh, some stupid shenanigans with TNT. So we have some blast protection armor that I have added to my arsenal. So that when we get to that point, we can we can mess around with the TNT and hopefully not die. <laughs> Because uh, I'm going to be setting off TNT, like, I think it's two blocks of TNT directly next to myself. Uh, yeah. Without a shield, without attempting to block it. So, uh, yeah. That's there. Uh, I'm probably going to do a flow uh, flower farm as well, mainly for dyes, but also I think that can feed into bone meal. I think those generally produ produce more bone meal than they make, or than they use. But I'm not certain about that. Um, I believe I have marked a skeleton spawner that I found as well. So if if we don't get more bone meal out of it, there's also the option of find a skeleton spawner and make a skeleton farm. Uh, or maybe we can con turn it into a... Um, what are they called? The Wraith? the the frozen biome version of the skeleton because those are basically the same thing but they can give you arrows of slowness as well which would eliminate my need for one of the Fletchers that I was going to need to trade up but I have a feeling Odds are, I when I start doing that trading, I am going to get slow before I get every other possible option. And um, I really don't use special arrows. Because I like to use infinity, and infinity does not work with the special arrows. Because I don't like to have to restock my arrows. Stray, thank you. The stray. Um, it's turning skeletons into stray. So. That's an option too. You could do that. I suppose we could get like a, a zombie farm too. If, uh, if we really want the flesh. The only, only thing I know you can use flesh for is for trading with the cleric. And I think the default price is, uh, one stack for two emeralds or like, you know, one emerald for half a stack. That's... Even if you have nothing better to do with the flesh, who's going to save up or carry around that much rotten flesh? What else are you going to use it for? Nothing. Uh, technically, getting enough to where you are never for want is part of the creative mode challenge. So, you know, maybe I'll save up like a double chest of it, but fuck man, <laughs> what am I gonna do with it? If, if as much as I want is what we're defining creative mode as, I want zero. Zero is the number I want. So I should be done. But that's not really... That's not really creative mode. Amounts. So... You know, 
maybe we'll maybe we'll do that maybe i'll just save some and say it's good it's good hey there kitty yeah it's getting close to dinner time i think once we get uh this barrel full of wither roses and then i've got plus one stack on me i'm going to make that the end of this wither and then hopefully i don't need so much wither rose that i have to do this again uh before i have a wither skull farm but uh you know we'll uh we'll stay we'll see Now that uh, I have a farm for this, Wither is actually... Wither Rose is actually an option for me. I haven't really played around with them, so I don't know... I don't know everything that I'm going to want to do with it. For all I know, this is going to become my default you know, mob killer. Probably not. It's kind of slow, but... Maybe. Oh, um, I should probably explain what they're for, what they do. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, Wither Rose, you plant in the dirt like you would any other flower, but when you touch it, it hurts you. It gives you the Wither effect, the same thing that uh, the wither or wither skeletons will give you uh, where your health slowly drains. And as long as you're standing on it, it not only will it continue to give you that effect, but it'll continue to damage you. Uh, so that can be used to kill mobs. Uh, it can also be used to filter out mobs because uh, if you place it on a block, it becomes spawn-proof for anything that would take damage there. Because mobs can't spawn in blocks that they're going to take damage from. But there are a few mobs that don't take damage from the wither effect. Mainly, wither skeletons. So if you want to filter out all mobs except wither skeletons from spawning in your wither skeleton farm, you can lay down wither flowers. And then the only thing you'll get are wither skeletons. Um, but the design I have in mind probably won't require that. It's another ENX04 design. Uh, a high Y, a custom platform. Uh, generic means of filtering them. I would put that in here. Okay, let's get you guys. I know you guys are scared, but come on. Go meet your friend. There you go. Okay. Um, so, it's another high, the wither skeleton farm that I have in mind. It's another high Y. It does involve portals to other dimensions um it looked pretty pretty simple but uh we'll see i the last time i ever tried to build a wither skeleton farm it was the wither ripper which is a 
Um, I can't remember if that was like a Panda 4994 design from way back in the day or if that was um, that might have been a uh, a hermit craft design honestly I can't remember but the design involved a full clear of a 256 or 128 block radius around the farm in the nether. Here we go. We're, we got a boss down. Boom. Where's the weather star? You know what? Let's just... Right, this is why I didn't want to do this. I suppose if it comes in pieces like that, then I don't have to do the swap all that often. One every four. Might as well get the snow. Well, that was incredibly successful. And we have another star. I'm going to just put that away. Um, I don't think I have everything I'm going to need for the uh, for the Selker farm on me. But we'll see. Uh, I'm going to park myself under here temporarily. I'm going to go feed the cat. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I am back. Take a drink. So, recap. We have a Wither Rose, uh, one chest's worth. I'll turn the audio back on. Here we go. 
All right. I uh, like I said, I'm not actually confident that I have everything I'm going to need for this uh, shulker farm. I have brought an instant health two splash potion in case it gets hurt. Uh, an invisibility potion for myself. A Minecraft with a furnace and a piece of coal to get it rolling up the tracks. And I don't know if I have everything else that's needed. I can make a, a minecart. I've got iron uh, and wood, so I can make more rails. So I think that's everything. I've got the wither roses. So we'll fly over there. We'll find out. Uh, chances are I'm going to get there. I'm going to need one more thing. And I'll need to teleport back. And uh, do the walk through the nether hub again. That's something else I'm going to need to do is speed up the nether hub, which means we're going to have to make, um, we're going to need to make a ice rail highway. Okay. To the farm. So we're just going to fly over where uh, all those end cities were. You can still see some of my bridging across these islands here. I'll go back and clean those up at some point. Probably. They are a decent landmark to tell me which direction to go. But at the same time, they kind of ruin the look of the end. Oh, look, a straight line. Okay, here we go. Here's the farm. I'm going to fly up here at the top. I'm going to place down the wither roses. So, in this farm, these trapdoors are the only... A uh, flat edge that the shulkers can spawn on and stay there, supposedly. Um, they can spawn or they can teleport to any solid surface. So, like a stair case, they can teleport to the back of it. Or to the bottom if it's facing upright, or at the top if it's if it's an upside down staircase. But they wouldn't be able to go onto the sides or uh, onto any of the edges that are uneven with the staircase. Trap doors flat on one side. So with this way, they are flat against the edge of the block this way, so they can teleport right here. Um, when it's facing like this direction, then it's flat on the bottom. So they'll be able to teleport on that. But I'm not I'm not gonna be using that. Um just just I want them to get up here as quickly as possible and then die to the wither roses. And then the soul sand is slightly lower, so all this hopper chain can collect them. Uh, then we have this bit, which I believe is going to make them, basically the, the entire thing here, they are supposed to think that they can teleport to some of these blocks, and then they decide that they don't like being on them, and they'll immediately teleport again. Mainly on the scaffolding, because the scaffolding it, it thinks it can get to, and it's just like no, this isn't right, and it does it. It tries again. 
and that forces them to go up. Supposedly. Then... This wasn't described in the... Um, in the actual farm. But judging from this being attached to a clock, it will flap these the arms of these uh, trapdoors. So it'll change which surface they can be on. And if the surface that it's on you know, disappears or changes, like one of these door these uh trap doors it'll force him to teleport again um yeah and then there is this thing which is a refill just in case our shulker dies this is designed to replace it there'll be a backup trapped in a chest and it'll just dump them out in the desired spot um that's what this part is for, the shoot. And then everything else down here. This is a clock to see if the shulker is still there. If that runs out, then it fires off the replace shulker mechanism thing here. Um, then you've got several layers of slab and scaffolding and they keep trying to teleport there and they don't like it and they move up another la layer more layers and then you've got this part which is in the farm, the farm's uh, designer kept calling it a supercharger. Uh, what makes this Shulker farm a little different is that instead of having one Shulker that shoots itself, it has this battery of Shulkers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them here that fires their bullet, and then makes a channel of bullets that just all go at the shulker, and he just keeps getting hit by all nine of them. Um, they're going to go into the channel here to go through this spot. The shul shulker will be in here, and then it has a typical snow golems throw the snowballs to aggro the shulker, which gets them all firing their bullets. Um, this one also has, there's an endermite in there. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you can hear it. It's trapped in that, um, that mine cart there. Man, you can't see the name I gave him. Uh, he is named, uh, Morph LaRoche. There he is. Now you can see him. But uh, yeah, he got hit with a name tag. So he'll be there forever. And the... Rather than having the the snow golems attack the shulker directly, they attack the might. Something about the way that they target and uh, the height and the size of the mite, they actually miss the mite and it goes at the shulker and the shulker gets aggroed, I guess. Um, I haven't tested this out, so I just, I'm hoping this all works. And then we have another clock down there to make sure that the, the shulker is still in there. We have the track here for minecarts that is going to fire off every time uh, the Enderman or the Shulker in there dies, and then it replaces them with a new one. Um, the idea being you 
there's one spot that the shulker can teleport to that is not the very top where they go to die. Well, there, there's a couple of spots. There's that supercharger thing. They can teleport there, and I guess they prefer that, so they go there first. Um, and then there is one spot where the minecart picks it up and then holds it and stays there, and he becomes the backup. And if, for some reason, the shulker dies, then it cycles him out, gets a new one in there, repeats um but yeah that's that's the idea behind it shulkers um th and this is using the the mechanic of shulkers uh whenever they are hit by a shulker bullet they will attempt to teleport away and they have a very w when they do that uh, they have like a 80% chance to attempt to teleport away. And when they do that, um, rather than teleporting away just to disappear, uh, it will actually create a new shulker in its place where it was. And the damaged one teleports out. And then that's the one that's going to go up the chain and die to the Wither Roses. It's kind of a prestige situation. Um, it it gets duplicated. One of them goes up to the killing floor. The other one becomes the new, uh, new trapped shulker who is going to be pelted with bullets until he decides to teleport, and then it splits again, and on and on it goes. So, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. I think. I hope I described that right. Um, like I said earlier with like the tutorial part, I wasn't totally confident that I knew what I was doing. Um, so yeah, we're going to hope that this thing works. Yeah. Um, so we've got one of two steps done uh left to do put the wither roses in that's done so the next bit is going to be getting a shulker in there and it looks like i pulled up my work chests that i had here okay so i guess my supplies are just what i have on me I have made a railway that goes up there, uh, and I'm gonna just use a um, a powered minecart to push it. My headset died. I just realized I haven't heard anything in a bit. Um, did I turn off the music? I guess I turned the jukebox and note blocks off, but that's not music uh, I didn't mean to do that there we go still very tired still going to be making mistakes um, okay so we have a railway going up on slabs everything up there is covered in buttons or covered in something that it can't teleport onto. So the only place it should be able to teleport is into where it's supposed to go, into the chamber. Hopefully. I don't know. Oh, I do have a working workstation here. Very, very close to those shulkers. Hopefully we're staying out of sight. We have a, a banner to mark our shulker farm, assuming this is actually going to work. And I'm not going to have to build a whole new one. All right. So here's the idea. 
that we're going to hope works. We're going to make a bunch of rails. On the minecart. Well, I need 24. There we go. Bunch of rails. Got a couple of blocks. Um, I have one powered rail. Do I have a way to power it? Uh, I don't have a way to power it. Okay. Hope is our answer. So, uh, I to do this, I'm going to need to get a bit risky here and get down to a single piece of clothing, which is going to be the wings in case I fall off or get hit by a shulker bullet and fly away to my death. Go invisible and hope they can't see me. And... You don't see me, right? You know, I want to go. I want to go around just in case. Just in case, getting too close to them sets them off. Now uh, let's get this. Is that going to be close enough? No. Hmm. How am I going to actually get them in there? Ah, he saw me. Is it still ahead, bro? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Also, you know what I can do? Is that? Nope, 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 nope. Please don't hit me. Uh, one of them hit each other. One of them hit the other, so one of them teleported away. Probably. But it looks like it made a replacement for him, so. That's good. And no, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Ah, he's gonna keep shooting at me, isn't he? Running around. And is he done? Okay. Get in there. There we go. He's in. Okay, so next. 
These guys. Ah, crap. That's okay. We're okay. It did hurt. That wasn't life ending. Head on there and send him away. Okay, now at the top here, he is in an activator rail, or he's on an activator rail. So I'm just going to hit the button next to him. That should put him in the farm. Hopefully. Yeah, there he goes. Is he where he's supposed to be? I fell. And that is why we put the wings on. We'll be able to put the uh, armor back on now. I don't care so much about the invisibility as long as he's where he's supposed to be. If he isn't, well, we'll find it. We'll have to get another shulker in there. Is he in there? Does not look like he's in there. Okay, where did he go? Did he go up to the top? He did, and then he died. Nothing in there. I think I heard him. Yeah, I hear him. Where are you at, my guy? Did you get put in the recycle chamber thingy? I can't tell if he's above or below. But he is pretty close to the center, which means he might... Maybe I just didn't see him in the centerpiece? Not here. Not here. Oh, that's a hard one to hit. If I understand correctly, he should be like right here. But, uh, oh, shoot. Okay, we're okay. But I'm pretty sure I'm hearing him up top. Somewhere. Is that him? That's him. Oh, crap. I didn't want to spend those rockets. Okay, so that either I missed something on the farm or that's a flaw in the tutorial. 
honestly, pretty high chances of both. Pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to spawn there, buddy. Let me, uh, consult the tutorial. Which is, um, a big part of why I didn't want to actually build this thing on stream is I'm pretty confident that this thing is, uh, Maybe not built right. Okay, so the rails go here. Then you've got solid block there and there. Start building up that section. Hold up. When did you put buttons on those blocks? Okay, you put them on the outside. That part I think I did. Gonna be hard to tell with him in there. Maybe this? That's the wrong side. No, it's got a button on it. it. Does not have a button on that side. Okay, you run glass over the top, like that. Got buttons on the glass. Then you move away from the blocks again. Because you can't stick to one section, you have to keep doing everything in such a chaotic order. Slab over it. And move on from it. So no, that... That is as they designed it. Or as the tutorial says. Okay. That's cool. Um, so maybe I'll need to go back to uh, the How It Works video and take another look. But um, that is... I, th I had a feeling that this, this was going to be the outcome. Something something wasn't going to be right. Uh, so I'm not too terribly uh, tore up about it. Kind of figured that this might happen. I don't really know what the point of this string is, though. Like it. I guess that's like the extras spot. I'm going to watch the uh, the end of this video here and see if maybe I was supposed to turn anything on before I get the the guy in there. All right, you build the temporary blocks out. 
you build the spot that he teleports away from. That's that block he's describing now. Fill in the minecart. Water log. The pipe. Break the kelp that you waterlogged it with. Place the last minecart on the powered rail. Get the shulker into the farm. Okay, so he does do the farm next. All right, flick on the lever. Where was that? It was like near the supercharger. I don't remember there being a lever here. Under there? Um, that lever, okay. Let's see what happens if we do that. Get in here. Not that lever. Uh, where's the charger at? This side, yeah? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be... A chore to get to. One of the things I will change at now as I uh, get it functioning. Trying to control this thing from the points just hanging out in space. That's not going to fly long term. Uh, uh. Mm. No pun intended. Okay, where is that soul sand? It's right there, right? Okay. There we go. Got it. Now let's fly up there and see what we actually f did. Because I don't even know. There's the charger. Okay. So that lever turns off these spawn locations, I guess. And then this lever over here. Which I don't think is actually accessible. Let's see on that. Also, I don't know what this block does. 
It's never described. Okay, how do I get to the lever? You like fly up into the machine there? Ah, okay. Well, you probably went like this. Get under here. And get to that lever. Okay. I s okay. We're gonna fly in here, go into this hole, drop down here, uh, and then the power levers. Oh, right here. Now well, that gets the snowmen to attack the. Uh, the Endermite. And then every time that times out, fires a new minecart. Oh, it grabbed him. Good. He's going to die in there. He's not teleporting out. He's not hitting himself with the bullets. Okay, so it did bring him back around. So that's good. Maybe it was working all along. Don't I need to flick that lever back for the ones in the chargers to start populating? I feel like I need to click this one turn back on. Once I've got the one that's in there. Can I get a view of... Can I get a view in better than 360p? Okay, so those guys are on the bottoms of these. Oh, okay, so they're on the bottom of the... Uh, of these things. I did not expect that. Okay. And then in our AFK, or our backup chamber, are we getting a guy? Go up to the top, not the very top, but over here. So this is probably a reserve tank for replacing our shulkers should they die. You know what? I'm just going to go with a little bit of faith. Maybe they know what I'm what they're doing better than I do. They probably do. Uh, 
I'm going to turn it back on. And assume that it's going to work. So he should shoot a bullet and come back and hit him and hit himself with it. So he's getting annoyed because he's getting hit by... Oh, there he goes. I heard it. He should shoot a bullet out. Yep, and then it comes back and hits him. And he teleports. Okay. And he did it again. There we go. Good. Okay, so the supercharger over here... Let's start... Yeah, I'm starting to see bullets coming from over there. I get over here without getting hit. I don't see any... Anything teleporting out here. It should be teleporting out of the bottoms of the... Oh. Okay, it's going back. It's going back. I'm not its target. You can hear it, like, doing that speed teleport. Crawling its way up. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, probably working. Probably. Um... We definitely have bullets going in and out. I, I almost feel like, well, no, actually, no, this makes sense. That's, that's a bottom slap, so they'd appear on the bottom, but they can't do it when it's flipped up like this, because that's, it can't appear in that block. The next block is over here. So, yeah, okay. Okay, that's probably right. Yeah, we can get a better view from here. So, when he hits himself with the bullet, he has, like, a high chance to teleport away. There we go. Now, when... In the rare chance that he doesn't teleport away before he hits himself enough times to kill himself, that's when the replacement machine kicks in. Okay. Now, why does this have a way to shut it on and off like that? I don't know. Because as far as I know, it never gets done. Okay, so we got a, a number of those guys in there. You're my backups. I feel like there should be a minecart there already. Oh, shoot. One of them found a way. Oh, that's not good. 
We got to get out of there. We cannot disrupt this. Yeah, they're still seeking me out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe I don't want to be a part of that. They're not pretty, though. They look cool in the shaders. Oh, that was close. Yeah, don't hit me. I don't want them to hit me because um, I have thorns. So that would damage them. And I, I want the machine to do all of the damage and just float away and not a straight line. Are they still firing, or are these the same bullets? Oh, crap. Well, I think it's working. That bullet should not be doing that. It should just be going there and back. No shulkers have joined the charger yet. Okay. I think they should populate it eventually. Those things just floating out there bother me. Hmm. Oh, great shot. Didn't fly out that direction. And teleports again. So I'm going to guess it teleports to one of the scaffolding and then it it finds a spot in there and teleports to. So far, at the very least, it is self-renewing. You know, it teleports one away. Teleports to the other to somewhere else. I don't see it just overflowing with filters, so I um, think it's good. I'm going to tear this down. Maybe I should, maybe I should leave it just so I have a way of getting back up here easy. Where did that bullet go? 
really? Did it just like back up reverse direction just to dodge my shot? That's kind of funny. Okay, I'm gone now. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm, uh, I want to leave this. I want to leave this for now. Just in case. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to find a better way to get up here. I do hear them getting hurt from the, uh, the wither roses. They can't target me through the glass. Yeah, I probably got too close, too visible by being at the end there. And we're getting shulker shells. Ah, crap. Not again. Okay. Well, this works. It's not some supercharged machine producing a thousand of them an hour. But it is producing. Did you really? Okay. He did not walk into my eyesight. Yeah, those those trapdoors are supposed to have shulkers appearing on them. But um, you know, for now, this is good enough. I am going to let this run until I have enough shulkers to fill an under chest whips is over here one two three four five six seven eight nine eighteen twenty seven so we need twenty seven times two uh so that's fifty four fifty four shulkers shells and then we'll have a ender chest flow of shul shulkers and our storage will be immense I'd also be able to put a bunch into my actual inventory but um, you know that's not I I'm realistically just going to have the I guess 16 of them in there one for each color and then I'll probably have a few more made I'll have a few more made um, just for like one off projects but I usually don't fill that many shulkers I'm sure I will eventually in this playthrough but um, yeah we have a working farm. We so that's that's two farms. Uh, we have. Oh, don't you dare. Okay. We have two farms made. We have a wither farm, uh, a wither flower farm, and we have a shulker farm. And assuming that eventually. Uh, Shulkers will appear in the supercharger over here. This thing will ramp up. 
what it needs to do to do that, I don't know. Or if I built it wrong, or, you know, whatever. Also, I'm still not totally sure about these random bullets that just keep appearing out of the middle of the farm. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the shulker teleporting away is getting a shot off before he teleports again. Because those look kind of look like they're coming from the middle of the farm, don't they? Maybe that's what's going on. All right, so I will need to make some modifications. Uh, one, if the supercharger never kicks on, then I'm going to need to get some shulkers over there, which I think I can do with a similar setup like this. I'm pr I'll, I'll probably leave this particular... Uh, end city alone. Excuse me. One, because there's not going to be much in there. What am I, what am I going to find in there? Maybe a, few, a chest or two. Certainly not finding any wings. Um, it's so small. There's like nothing to worry about in there. But the others, which uh, we can't see because of the render distance. You know, there's this one over here. That's not much bigger, but it's something to explore. Hello, rude. Um... Yeah. Then we got this one. That's a worthy city. And it's, you know, we got the ship that we've already, we already got the ship, the wings out of it anyway. But the rip. You little shit. Asshole. We got that one. We got that one. We'll ignore this one. I'm pretty sure there was some more behind it. We can explore those, though. All right. Can't stop yawning. Um, I am not sure what we'll find in those that we're really going to want. We have rods, which that's another farm I'm going to have to make eventually, is a, um, a farm that does these things so that we can get like infinite rods. That's kind of a cool light source. Beyond that, um, what do we get? an abundant supply of purple and the occasional chest to loot with like diamond gear in it. But uh, we don't, we don't really need any of that. <laughs> we got all we need of that. We might find diamonds. Um, but not a lot. So, you know, we, we can rate those and figure out what we want to do. Um, I might call it here, though. I am starting to yawn a lot. Let me get up there. Can I do this without? No, I can't. Okay. Give me. <laughs> 39. Definitely not enough. 
for uh, for all the uh, shelter boxes we're gonna want. I was hoping we would be done. Mother, God, come on, come on. Excuse me, whoever just shot. Stop that. Let all the bullets break. Yep. Okay. So, goals. We have there's shulker farm there, shulker farm, gun, wither farm. So we have wither rose farm. Uh we do not have wither skull farm. So we're gonna change that to wither skull farm. Um, then we have anything else that we really want to tackle today or look into? I'll go exploring for, uh, for templates. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go to, let's go explore the nether. Um, there. You might have actually been damaged from all that bullet nonsense. So, here. Don't say I never did anything for you. Okay. I don't really need any of that, but I'll bring it with me anyway. Let's put put those there. Leave that. Yeah. We're going to leave that there in case we need to get more shulkers into the farm one way or another. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to get them in there. But it does appear to be working. If one of those bullets comes out for me. Where did this go? There it is. Is it not rendering when it's fully open? Is that what's going on? Or is he teleported away right now and needs to get a new one in there? Yeah, I think he got a new one in there. Okay. That is a uh, alarming rate of them not repopulating. Hmm. Strange that. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, kind of feels like a reload that didn't work. There we go. Oh, hey there. We got one in the charger. So yeah, that just spits out bullets. And then those are all going to just go straight into there and keep hitting him. And then as that fills up, there will be more and more bullets in the machine. Okay. So I I suppose I owe an apology here for the heavy, heavy doubts that I had about this working. Not about the original design, but of my ability to replicate it, uh, especially from the, the tutorial by not the creator. That was cumbersome. But uh, you know what? It's doing the thing. So, yeah. That, um, oh, that would look like two immediate teleports. Uh, probably because he hit him with his own bullet and then this guy hit him with a bullet. Which, that's how it's supposed to work, is you get more and more shulkers into the charger and each one increases the rate at which bullets hit the seed shulker. Yeah, so we'll, we'll let that keep rolling. Okay, I got 39 shulkers. I said I need 54, yeah? So, let's see how we're doing. Oh, that's how they're getting me. Okay. <laughs> that was, um, that was a little risky, a little dangerous. Okay. How many we got? 64. Exactly one stack. We have 32 shulker boxes now. Perfect. So, we'll call this one done. And uh, I changed my mind. I feel like doing a little bit of uh, nether exploring. And go take a look at some bastion business. Now, um, the bastions that a lot of sane people consider 11 p.m. a reasonable time to go to bed. Yeah, it's, it's fair. It's fair. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to listen to that advice. So I am going to wrap up the stream here. Maybe tomorrow we can look at doing some raiding in the nether. Do I have any more chests? No. Okay, so we'll need to make some chests. So let's let's get these shulkers made up. I'm gonna store wither roses. I've never had Wither Roses to store. 
Um, we'll get our shulker boxes made up, and then we will sign off for the night. Um, especially because even if I got a little bit excited to start going exploring the nether, um, I am starting to see and feel myself kind of meander. Not know what to do with my hands. So we'll get 32 chests. go. I'll need to go get uh, dyes to dye them. Need to empty our filter chest here. Take out all that snow. No, we'll save the beacon for next time. Otherwise, um, we will start going down the rabbit hole of, oh, just one more thing, oh, just one more thing, oh, just one more thing. And I've already one more thing with uh, getting our shulker boxes. You know, that's going to be our reward for today. Get the shulker boxes. Here we go. Okay. And the Enderman was here. Maybe they should carpet over that so that they can't go in there. Um, dies. One of each. don't have room in your crafting table, just drop the item. Brown. Cyan. Yellow. Magenta. Gray. White. Black. Pink. Blue. Orange, lime, purple, light blue. I don't think that's all of them. Um, okay. Cyan, yellow, blue. Okay. So was there. Let's get Magenta will be for enchanted gear. Give me the enchanted gear. Okay. Don't have a red box yet. Or a green box. Red. 
Red will be for redstone stuff, which obsidian counts as. You also need a supply of wood and iron in them. TNT, pistons. That's all redstone stuff. Okay. That's probably to gone and that's okay. Uh, we'll put the emergency repair XP in with the enchanted tools. A green box. Or it's a light gray box. Did I not make a light gray box? That's not where I did. Oh. Okay. Twenty seven. Twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty-three, one, thirty-two. I did not. Okay. One. Light gray box. There we go. We got all the colors, and we have. We'll start. We'll deal with sorting and all that on another stream. Or I, I probably I'll probably do that on my own time. Who wants to watch a, sh a sorting dream? There we go. Each of these has a full barrels worth of storage capacity. We got our Nether Star. We got over a barrel's worth of wither roses. And we have the means of getting infinite um smokers. Yeah. So with that I am gonna call this the end of the stream. And I'm going to go get some sleep. Thank you everybody for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.